going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we are going to be Raptor lining my 2006 Ford F-150. Right now, it's got a two-tone paint job of true blue and pewter metallic. We're gonna be taking that and transforming it to an olive drab green, just picture like an army tank or an army jeep, and a black paint job. It's gonna be awesome, and I'm really excited, so let's get started. If you guys are brand new to the channel, this is what the truck looks like right now. Originally, so this is the 2006 F-150, so this is the original paint job, the true blue on top, and this pewter metallic two-tone paint job on the bottom is actually also Raptor liner that I did myself a while back. Originally, I had Plasti dipped the fender flares and a two-tone paint job and the bumper so it was blue and black and black rims as well, but we are going to be taking this and we're going to be making it, um, the idea is all of this is going to be um, army green and it's not going to be two-toned it's going to be army green all the way down except for the fender flares and the bumpers and i'm going to leave um, these guys black the mirrors black and the door handles black actually these guys are going to stay black too i believe so if you guys can imagine what that will look like that is the idea for the um for the project basically what i'm going to be doing tonight i'm going to be taking the front uh, the back, sorry, and the front bumpers off, and I'm going to be taking off the fender flares, probably going to be sanding them down, and if I have the time, I'm going to raptor line them black tonight. Um, if not, uh, I'll just do that in the morning, but that's what we got on the agenda for tonight. You showed my name all right, fender flares are off. Front bumper and bull bar are, is off. The back bumper is off. If I didn't know any better, I'd say I've almost done this before. Okay, so we've got uh, front bumper right here, back bumper right here, fender flares, bull bar over here. So on the back bumper, there is a little bit of body work that I'm gonna have to do right here. As you guys can see, there's this dent. Um, so essentially what I'm gonna do is hit these guys with 180 grit sandpaper um, all over, because these guys are gonna be going from this pewter metallic color that you see right here to black. Um, so basically I'm not gonna take it all the, I'm not gonna take the Raptor liner that's on there completely off. Um, there's chrome bumpers underneath. I'm basically just gonna um, sand it down until there's no shine, it's all dull, just like how I'm going to do the paint job on the F-150. So sand these guys down, these guys are going to go black. I'm going to sand them down. If I have time to do the black tonight, you guys will see that. If not, you guys will see that in the morning. Alright, so the sanding is done on the bumpers. Um, generally for the most part at least. So still have to go and knock this guy back out. I want to show you guys so this was Raptor line previously, right? So as you can see, for the most part, it's very, very dull. It's very smooth, but in some of the finer areas, you can see how up here has still has a bit of a shine to it. So I'm gonna need to go in there with um, a piece of sandpaper by hand and manually get out some of these things that the orbital sander was not able to reach. So this very, very flat uh, area right here is ready to be sprayed over because it has no shine to it, but like, see these little areas up here, if this will focus, these areas right here are not ready to be sprayed over because it still has a bit of a shine to it, it hasn't been scuffed up, so I'm gonna need to go in there with a little piece of sandpaper and get over it. Um, as far as the plastic stuff right here goes, it's all going black, but I am gonna use an adhesion promoter to put on the plastic portions of the bumper before I spray it with the black Raptor liner. I'm, all I have left to do tonight is um, sand down the fender flares. I'm not going to spray it tonight. I'll spray that in the morning and we'll check back with you guys then. Alright guys, so it's the next morning. We've completely cleaned these guys off nice and smooth. Wiped it down with some uh, wax and grease remover. We're going to be spraying this with the black Raptor liner. Um, we'll probably be doing it at a lower PSI than the body of the truck because I want these guys to have a much more thick and rugged texture than the actual body of the truck. So, like I said, they're already sanded down, they're already clean, so the only thing left to do now is spray them. No! Okie dokie guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little, uh, that little time lapse thing. So, all of the fender flares are now black. 
both of the bumpers are now black. To do two coats on everything, all four fender flares and both bumpers over here, only took two bottles of the black Raptor liner. Any um, tiger striping kind of stuff that it looks like right now is going to even out once everything is done flashing off and drying out. Um, I was able to cover everything, guys. I mean, I was able to really cake it on as far as coats go with the black Raptor liner. Like I said earlier, only two bottles were needed to do two coats on everything. Just show you guys a little bit more of the fender flares a little bit more. All nice and black and shiny. Really, really nice. That's what the texture looks like. It's a little, little smoother than I would have liked, but you know what? I think I'm okay with it. I think it matches the texture over here on the bumpers very, very well. So now, what we get to do is we get to basically repeat the whole process, but on the truck. So we're gonna sand it down, we're gonna tape everything off, we're gonna wipe it down, and we're gonna Raptor line it. It is hot as the dickens outside. You shout my name And I come running to catch you again Our love is in flames But I still follow my heart to an end in the dark, you fill my walls up with the gallery of stars. But I keep asking myself, is this wonderland? Everything is cleaned off, taped off, masked off. We are shaking up our Raptor liner right now. Um, I didn't show you guys, but it's pretty simple. You just put a little bit of hardener in here. You put the color pouch that comes in here and you mix it up for two minutes and then you spray it. Um, I'm going to start off with the roof. That's going to be my test panel, essentially because um, y'all aren't going to see up there anyway, so that's going to be my test panel as far as figuring out what the texture is going to be. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're finally here, so let's do it. Yeah! Hopefully you guys liked all those time lapses and that little bit of GoPro footage. Hopefully it turns out well. So, the first coat is on the truck and it looks awesome. The olive looks exactly like how the picture said it would look. I was really nervous because sometimes, you know, you see a picture of what the color is going to look like, but then when you actually spray it, it doesn't look like how you thought it was going to look, but it looks awesome. I only had to use like four and a half, five bottles to get one really heavy coat on the entire truck. So I still have three bottles left. Sorry, there's a plane flying over right now. So I have three bottles left, so I'm gonna have more than enough product to do the entire truck, touch up any areas that need to get touched up, and really just put on a big, thick, heavy coat. Um, and then honestly, uh, I'm just gonna you know continue to let it flash, let it dry off, let it do its thing. 
The fender flares and the bumpers have been painted for almost two whole days now. Um, so those guys are, are definitely ready to get put on once the actual truck is finished and ready to dry. Um, this product has been insane, guys. I started this on Thursday night after work around like 9, 10 o'clock, and it is now Saturday uh, sometime in the, in the late afternoon, probably around 4 o'clock. Um, so, and I've, I've just been busting my butt, working my absolute tail off to do this. Um, so hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully you guys can appreciate, um, if anything, you know, if it doesn't look as cool as you guys thought it would, at least hopefully you guys can appreciate the hard work that went into it. Cause I definitely had to work my tail off. Big shout out to one of my brothers, William, and, um, my sister, Abby, for helping me out, especially all the taping off and masking off that you guys see, that was the biggest pain of the entire process. Painting, not a big deal. Sanding, not a big deal. Wiping everything down, not a big deal. For me, maybe it's just my personality, but the tediousness and the attention to detail required to do like the masking was the most annoying part. Got another plane flying overhead, this is awesome. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put the final coat on. I'm gonna assemble everything. I'm gonna put the fender flares back on. I'm gonna put the uh, front and rear bumpers back on. Obviously, you know, the lights and stuff have to go back in the truck. Um, but yeah, guys, we're probably only a few hours away from this project being completely finished. So uh, maybe the next clip you see will, you know, be some dope B-roll shots of the finished product. guys that's the video this is the truck it was a blast to work on it was a long long process a lot of hard work I can't take all the credit for myself special huge shout out to my sister Abby my brother William my dad and my wife Jeanette without them and their help and their support definitely wouldn't have been able to do this by myself because this is definitely more than a one-minute job I am floored I absolutely love how this truck looks sorry if there's any wind noise right now um this is this is just awesome guys it, it turned out even better than i thought it was going to turn out and i'm just i'm i'm so happy with it i'm, I'm really happy i get to share it with you guys as well hopefully you guys like it um and thank you guys for all your support as well because you guys definitely you know help spur me on to do this as well um honestly i'm, I'm just kind of floored right now i'm kind of in shock that it's finally done better than, than I imagined. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up right now. If you guys are brand new, click subscribe. Um, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.